Well. All right, let it come through this way. I'll close my eyes. <laughs> come on. Uh, Ma'am, you might just as well leave that basket. Sure, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> come on, Marty. Interesting facts about famous people. Trilogy westerns. Sometimes one just isn't enough. It didn't happen very often. In fact, very rare. Although commonplace today, it's actually more common than not. If a film does well, there will be several more movies that follow on with more incarnations. Think about the Marvel movies or the Fast and the Furious, the most famous, arguably, the 007 Bond movies. During the classic era, when it came to westerns, there were a few examples, which we will take a look at today. Let me know if there were any others. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. John Wayne and John Ford collaborated on the Cavalry Trilogy movies from 1948 to 1950. Fort Apache, 1948. Director, John Ford. At Fort Apache, an honorable and veteran war captain finds conflict when his regiment is placed under the command of a young, glory-hungry lieutenant colonel with no respect for the local Indian tribe. Maybe horse meat before this campaign is over. Fight over cards or rot gut whiskey, but share the last drop in their canteens. Faces may change, names, but they're there. They're the regiment, the regular army. Now and 50 years from now. Rio Grande, 1950. Director, John Ford. A cavalry officer posted on the Rio Grande is confronted by murderous raiding Apaches, a son who's a risk-taking recruit, and his wife, from whom he's been separated for many years. I haven't seen you for 15 years. So I've been told, sir. Well, on the official records, you're my son. But on this post, you're just another... And on eyes with hope gleaming, I see them again in all my daydreaming. Glory, oh, glory. She wore a yellow ribbon, 1949. Director, John Ford. Captain Nathan Brittles, on the eve of retirement, takes out a last patrol to stop an impending massive Indian attack. Encumbered by women who must be evacuated, Brittles finds his mission imperiled. To Captain Brittles from C Troop. The United States of America. There's three aces for you, boy. Yeah, but I kind of wish you'd have been a hold in the full hand. Huh? Full hand? What do you mean, full hand? Robert E. Lee, sir. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't have been bad. Let's go. Sergio Leone's Dollars Trilogy with Clint Eastwood includes these spaghetti westerns. A Fistful of Dollars, 1964, director Sergio Leone. A wandering gunfighter plays two rival families against each other in a town torn apart by greed, pride and revenge. For a few dollars more, 1965, director Sergio Leone. Two bounty hunters with the same intentions team up to track down an escaped Mexican outlaw. The Good, the Bad and the Ugly, 1966. 
Director Sergio Leone. A bounty hunting scam joins two men in an uneasy alliance against a third in a race to find a fortune in gold buried in a remote cemetery. The hugely successful A Man Called Horse, starring Richard Harris, spawned another two movies. A Man Called Horse, 1970, director Elliot Silverstein, in 1825, an English aristocrat, was captured by Native Americans. He lives with them and begins to understand their way of life. Eventually, he is accepted as part of the tribe and aspires to become their leader. Return of the Man Called Horse, 1976. Director, Irvin Kirshner. The English gentleman known as Horse returns to the American West to save his adopted Indian tribe from extinction. Triumphs of a Man Called Horse, 1983. Director, John Ho. Like when gold is found on Sioux lands, crooked men attempt to provoke the Sioux into a war with the army the and the prospectors. Enemies for hundreds of years. Bring them here again and they'll be bloodshed. I told you, this is Indian land. Now get on. Howard Hawks and John Wayne. Rio Bravo, 1959. Director Howard Hawks, a small town sheriff in the American West, enlists the help of a disabled man, a drunk and a young gunfighter in the efforts to hold in jail the brother of the local bad guy. El Dorado, 1966. Director Howard Hawks. Cole Thornton, a gunfighter for hire joins forces with old friend, Sheriff J.P. Hara. Together with an old Indian fighter and a gambler, they help a rancher and his family fight a rival rancher who's trying to steal their water. Cole? Well, all right, let it come through this way. I'll close my eyes. <laughs> come on. Uh, Ma'am, you might just as well leave that basket. Sure, Mrs. <laughs> come on, Marty. Rio Lobo, 1970. Director Howard Hawks. After the Civil War, Cord McNally searches for the two traitors whose treachery caused the defeat of McNally's unit and the loss of a close friend. What do you plan on doing about that? Just going to ride into town and bust open the jail? Well, that stuff is not for the young. What'd you brew that with? I asked you, you just going to bust open the jail? The answer is no, unless you want your boy killed. you enjoyed the video let me know what you think in the comments i appreciate your likes and subscribers hit the notification button to get my new videos take a look at my channel and check out my facebook page the links are in the description 
I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.